Welcome to the RCC podcast by Richards Commerce Classes. In this session, we learn all about demand analysis. Meaning of demand. In ordinary language, demand means a desire. Desire means an urge to have something. In economics, demand means a desire which is backed by willingness and ability to pay. Therefore, demand equals desire plus willingness to purchase plus ability to pay. Definition of demand. According to Benham, the demand for anything at a given price is the amount of it, which will be bought per unit of time at that price. What are the features of demand? Point 1. Demand is a relative concept. And. Point 2. Demand is essentially expressed with reference to time and price. Next up. What are the reasons justifying downward sloping demand curve? Point 1. Lot of diminishing marginal utility. A consumer tends to buy more when price falls and vice versa. Point 2. Income effect. When price falls, purchasing power of a consumer increases which enables him to buy more. Point 3. Substitution effect. In case of substitute goods, when the price of a commodity rises, the consumer tends to buy more of its substitute and less of that commodity whose price has increased. Point 4. Multipurpose uses. When a commodity can be used for satisfying several needs, its demand will rise with a fall in its price and fall with a rise in its price. And, point 5. New consumers. When the price of a commodity falls, a new consumer class appears who can now afford the commodity. Thus, total demand for commodity increases with fall in price. Moving on to types of demand. There are five types of demand. 1. Direct demand. Demand by the consumer for goods which satisfy their wants directly. Example, demand for consumer goods like cloth and sugar. 2. Indirect demand, also known as derived demand. It refers to demand for goods which are needed for further production. For example, demand for workers in a sugar factory. 3. Complementary or joint demand, when two or more goods are demanded jointly to satisfy a single want. For example, car and fuel. 4. Composite demand, the demand for a commodity which can be put to several uses. For example, electricity is demanded for several uses such as light, fan, washing machine and so on. And, 5. Competitive demand. It is demand for those goods which are substitutes for each other. For example, tea or coffee, sugar or jaggery. What are the determinants of demand? The demand for goods is determined by the following factors. Point 1. Price. Consumers prefer to purchase a product in large quantities when price of a product is less and vice versa. Point 2. Income. Rise in income will lead to a rise in demand for the commodity and a fall in income will lead to a fall in demand for the commodity. Point 3. Prices of substitute goods. If a substitute good is available at a lower price then people will demand cheaper substitute good than costly good. Point 4. Price of complementary goods. Change in the price of one commodity would also affect the demand for other commodity. For example, car and fuel. If the price of fuel rises, then demand for cars will fall. Point 5. Nature of product. If a commodity is a necessity and its use is unavoidable, then its demand will continue to be the same irrespective of the corresponding price. For example, medicine to control blood pressure. Point 6. Size of population. Larger the size of population, greater will be the demand for a commodity and smaller the size of population smaller will be the demand for a commodity. Point 7. Expectations about future prices. If the consumer expects the price to fall in future, he will buy less in the present at the current price. Similarly, if he expects the price to rise in future, he will buy more in the present at the current price. Point 8. Advertisement. Advertisement, sales promotion scheme and effective salesmanship tend to change the preferences of the consumers and lead to demand for many products. Point 9. Tastes, habits and fashions. Taste and habits of a consumer influence the demand for a commodity. If a consumer likes to eat chocolates or consume tea, he will demand more of them. Point 10. Level of taxation. High rates of taxes on goods or services would increase the price of the goods or services. This, in turn would result in a decrease in demand for goods or services and vice versa. And, point 11. Other factors, include climatic conditions, changes in technology, government policy, customs and traditions. Let's now move on to the law of demand. Statement of the law, other things being equal. Higher the price of a commodity, smaller is the quantity demanded and lower the price of a commodity, larger is the quantity demanded. What are the assumptions to the law of demand? Point 1. Constant level of income. Point 2. No change in size of population. Point 3. Prices of substitute goods remain constant. Point 4. Prices of complementary goods remain constant. Point 5. No expectations about future changes in prices. Point 6. No change in tastes, habits, preferences, fashions. And, point 7, no change in taxation policy. Next up, exceptions to the law of demand. 
Following are the exceptions to the law of demand. Point 1. Giffen's paradox. Inferior goods or low-quality goods are those goods whose demand does not rise even if their price falls. At times, demand decreases when the price of such commodities fall. Point 2. Prestige goods. Expensive goods like diamond and gold are a status symbol. So, rich people buy more of it, even when their prices are high. Point 3. Speculation. The law of demand does not hold true when people expect prices to rise still further. Point 4. Price illusion. Consumers have an illusion that high-priced goods are of a better quality. Therefore, the demand for such goods tend to increase with a rise in their prices. Point 5. Ignorance. Sometimes, due to ignorance people buy more of a commodity at high price. Point 6. Habitual goods. Due to habit of consumption, certain goods like tea is purchased in required quantities even at a higher pre. Let's now discuss, variations in demand. When the demand for a commodity falls or rises due to a change in price alone, and other factors remain constant, it is called variations in demand. It is of two types. 1. Expansion of demand. Expansion of demand refers to rise in quantity demanded due to fall in price alone while other factors like tastes, income of the consumer, size of population remain unchanged. In this case, demand moves in downward direction on the same demand curve. And 2. Contraction of demand. Contraction of demand refers to a fall in demand due to rise in price alone. Other factors like tastes, income of the consumer, size of population remain unchanged. I in this case, demand moves in the upward direction on the same demand curve. Moving on to changes in demand. When demand for a commodity increases or decreases due to changes in other factors and price remains constant, it is known as changes in demand. It is of two types. 1. Increase in demand. It refers to increase in quantity demanded due to favorable changes in other factors like tastes, income of the consumer, climatic conditions and price remains constant. Here, the demand curve shifts to the right-hand side of the original demand curve. And, 2. Decrease in demand. It refers to decrease in quantity demanded due to unfavorable changes in other factors like tastes, income of the consumer, climatic conditions and price remains constant. Here, demand curve shifts to left-hand side of the original demand curve.